Let's talk about workflows. Now a workflow is essentially just the steps that you take to get a job done. You can have a coding workflow, you can have a vlogging workflow, you can have an exercise workflow. And establishing a workflow is very, very important in terms of your output, in terms of your productivity. It's one of the most important things you can do. Now here's the thing though, the trap that I get stuck in. I get stuck in these traps of always trying to modify and streamline the workflow. And what happens, you become a workflow modifier and not somebody who gets the job done. That said, you still have to try to improve your workflow. So let's talk about coding. Uh, a workflow could be how you process your code. Let's say you're writing Java, for instance. How often do you compile? Which compiler do you use? Which JVM do you use? If they use multiple JVMs these days. Which code editor you use? How often do you do you run the code to see that it works? How often do you compile? Uh, how do you deploy? What's the deployment methodology? And so on. Now, I'm just coming up with some things off the top of my head in terms of my own experiences, but you have to sort of adapt that as well. Now, the thing is, if you keep on tinkering with different uh, code editors or different IDEs, IDE is short for Integrated Development Environment. If you keep tinkering, with all these gadgets and all these processes. You, you're gonna get caught up in all this thing and it could be a pretty bad spiral to be in. And trust me, I've been there since I have a bit of a ACD, ACD, obsessive compulsive disorder, whatever. I get, I get caught up in all this stuff. Lately, I've been getting caught up with uh, cameras, although I've gotten much better at it. So I research, I research, I research, research try to figure out which camera is best given my needs. And um, a lot of times you're wasting your time. But I have to tell you, I just made a decision on this camera here, and it is saving me a huge amount of time. Same thing with this mic here. It's saving me a huge amount of time. I got everything set up. And now my uh, compulsive tendencies would want me to do even more to tweak even more to see if I can get something a little bit better here, a little bit better mic, or maybe a different positioning, or maybe a different lens. But at the end of the day, I'm, I have a setup now, I have a setup now. Sounds pretty good, requires no effort. In fact, with the new sound setup, I don't have to process the sound anymore. Uh, the lens is very good, we get pretty good picture, good framing. Uh, the camera is great because it's got that crazy dual pixel autofocus, so it makes it easier. I'm always in focus. I'm always in focus. This seems like a min minimal thing to you if you haven't done any solo vlogging. But my other camera, which is an excellent camera, first of all, I can't see myself because it doesn't have a flip screen. And the autofocus is not even close to as good as this particular camera. This is the Canon 80D. It's got amazing autofocus capabilities. So now I have, in terms of my vlogging, I have this amazing workflow. Sound is, is great, the, uh, the framing is great, the, uh, the video quality is great. So now, instead of taking me two to three minutes to set up a shot to vlog, it takes me literally 20 seconds, not even. So it's super quick, saves me a lot of time. So now I gotta go, that's it, it works great. Let's get the content out, because my job here is not to come up with the best camera setup for vlogging. My job here is to vlog and to put out material, to put out the content. Same thing when you're writing code, right? You don't want to get caught up in the processes trying to create the, the perfect ideal process. Yes, you should look into that a bit, but you should really concentrate on putting out the best code that you can put out. So, uh, yeah. This is advice for people who may be like me, who have that problem where you get obsessed in the process and not obsessed in the result. So try to be obsessed in getting the result uh, because most of the time, your tweaks to your tools, your tweaks to your process will only marginally improve your results. Sometimes I have huge differences, like this camera setup that I have here is have a huge difference in terms of uh, how easy it is for me to put out material. But most of the time, it doesn't. So I'm here with my camera now. I have no intentions of upgrading this camera for at least a year, maybe two years, uh, including the sound, because the sound's great. 
And uh, I'm very happy about that because it just drives me nuts trying to tweak all these things. And uh, that's pretty much it. We'll see you in the next vlog.